back everyone for the final tutorial on building your own project management app. In this lesson, we'll cover administrative access where, where the project owner can add and remove team members from the project. Currently, when you create a project, there's only one team member, the creator. So what we want to do now is for the admin of this project to manage team members, we can um, add and remove team members. So what we want to do here um, the quickest way, let's just say, is to add an icon up top. Let's add a row. Let's, add, let's just add a row up top. And then here we'll just remove this. Remove this word. And then the icon button. Um, let's quickly delete this action as well. The icon button here, what we want is maybe team. Move manage people. Let's do this. And this icon can sit on the far right. Actually, maybe far left. So here we'll only show this row if if the project if the project's creator is the authenticated user. Do a back and query project. Uh, query collection. Sorry, document from reference where the project is equal to the project ref conditional on if the project creator equals to the authenticator's user ref. So this will only show up if the authenticator user ref is the creator of the project. So IE, for example, the admin. When this button gets pressed, we wanna show a bottom sheet of the list of members that we, we can add and remove. So let's create another component. Let's see if we can find a useful component that allows us to quickly do this. Okay, cool. Let's create a, a list of users that allows the admin to add or remove from the project. So firstly, we need a list view. And in this list view, we're going to query a list of users. So query collection users, and we'll exclude the current user. And what we need to do here next is add the user's name. It's called display name. We'll space it out a little. Uh, next, we will add like an icon here where you can add or remove depending on whether the member is part of the already part of the project um, team. So we will add what's next? We'll wrap this in a row and in, within the row, we'll add an icon. Icon button. Let's call this icon um, add to team. And we'll add another icon remove from team. Um, let's not worry about the formatting of it. So here I will simply also use a conditional builder where the conditional builder is if the user's pro list of projects, list contains the project reference, where we will show the add button. If it doesn't, we will show the remove button. Uh, sorry, no, opposite. If the conditional builder contains the item, i.e. the user's already in the project, we will show the remove from team item. So this is the remove from team. And let's quickly format this to a cross uh, delete icon. Wow. Else, if they're already in the team, we can add it to the team. So here we have two options. So it's add or remove. So if they're already in the team, we can remove. And the action is 
action for the removal from team is update document. We need to update the project reference where the users, the project team remove from set, we will remove the user document reference. In addition, we need to update the user's document as well to remove them from the project. Remember that the user document actually has a list of projects here as well. The reference we want to update is the user reference and the projects we will remove from set the current project reference. Now next, we add to team, the, the button to add to team. So if we want to add to team, we want to similarly update document, but we're going to do the inverse, the opposite, where we will, in the project team, we'll add to set the user's document reference. And then in the update document for the user that we have selected, we will also add the current project to the user for the project reference. So you can see here, we're adding the current user's reference to the project. And then we're also adding the project to the user reference. Let's see if this works out. In the meantime, I'll show you that I've actually created another user called John here. So ideally John will show in the list of users we can add and remove. So let's quickly add and remove. See, we can see that John is not part of the project. We can add him to the project. And then in the back end, John will have this project. And then the, they will also have this project team here. Now let's quickly close this and add a project for John to see if it works. So John's task. detail and he should show up in the dropdown. John, perfect. Now let's go for milestone two, due on Sunday, we'll create task. Perfect, we can see John is responsible here. And for milestone two, no task has been completed yet. Let's add a back button here to actually navigate back to the project list. Let's go add a back button, button icon. Let's copy this widget style here, paste. And then I want to add a back icon so we can navigate back or navigate to the project list. Let's just say navigate to projects page. Cool, now that we've added the button, let's reload this and log on to John's profile to see if he, ha if he has access to this project we've created. Let's log out. I believe the login email for John is at john.com. Great, you can see here the project one is part of John's profile now. And he can see all the tasks and the milestones but what he can't do is manage the team because he's not an admin as shown here. He can add milestones per usual and he can add tasks per usual to both the admin to and select the respective milestones. Perfect, this looks great. So I hope that you learned how to build a project management app where there are projects and within projects, there are milestones and within milestones, there are tasks that can be allocated to different people to be completed. Thank you for following this six part series on building your own project management app. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.